is up? Oh my goodness. I haven't uh, filmed a video, but I haven't uploaded in so long and actually made a tutorial because the videos that I've recorded like filmed before, it's me trying to talk to you and explain what's going to happen, but then I never upload them because I'm just very irresponsible like that. So, hello, welcome back. How have you been? I've been great. Living in a new city. Um working and finally I have time to make a tutorial so this look right here it's not something that I'm extremely proud of but I do like it and I feel like it's kind of appropriate for fall I mean look at that hardcore I mean it's not that hardcore but look at that it looks not blended and I assure you in person it's blended just this whole lighting situation and everything sucks I don't know what to say I feel like this is gonna be my filming space for now um and yeah anyway um, oh my gosh, I look so different. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want to see how I achieved this kind of, I don't know, just threw it up, tried to make a fall tutorial kind of look, <laughs> that was, that was my school, then just keep watching. Hi everyone. Anyway, so I first primed my eyes and everything whatnot. So now I have this MAC 217 brush and I'm just putting on like a medium brown just as a transition color because we all know that we need that transition color so here all of this is improvised that's why it's not that great so just bear with me so here I'm using the NYX um I'm not sure the name of it but the black one <laughs> so I'm just putting it all over my lid you can use a gel eyeliner you can use anything and if actually you don't even need to use it black you can use any other color if you want so yeah, I just blended out with my finger, then I blended it out with a brush. I don't know if I put this clip on, but yeah, I just did that. And then I put on oh wait, so yeah, I did blend on camera. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> so now I'm using this pigment. I think it's called something brown. I don't even know. I'll just link it down below because I'm pretty sure this pigment is permanent. I hope. So yeah, just apply it all over my lid. It's actually a very dark brown, but I don't know what color it's coming out as. So again, blending. I actually blended so much and my brush was kind of dirty. So that's why the blending wasn't that great. But oh well, let's work that later. So anyway, I'm just here priming my face with um, Professionals Primer because why not? And then I'm going to use... Oh, whoa. What did I say? Anyway, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which I am in love with. Like, just in love. I, uh. <laughs> so here I'm just using a beauty blender. I recommend a beauty blender because it is so liquidy. I feel like a brush, you would just see strikes. I mean, do it if you want to. I mean, you do you. I mean, who am I to tell you what to do, right? Which is kind of what I'm telling you to do in this tutorial. I don't, you know what? I just feel like talking out of my butt today. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep on blending. Make sure it's well blended. Obviously, I have a blemish that's pissing me off, but oh well. So right here, I'm putting on my lashes. I'm using the Adele Wispies because I find it that they're just the best. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to put those on. I did have a little difficulties with it. I'm not sure why lately I've been having difficulties putting on my lashes. But, you know what? We just work with it. So yeah, I put that one on and then I put the other one, I think, off camera. I'm not sure. Yeah, I put it off camera. So now I'm just going to put on my concealer. Um, and I'm using my... Which one am I using? Hmm. Oh yeah, the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer. And then I think I'm going to apply the MAC um, Prep and Prime and Light Boost because it is one of my favorites. And plus it just adds a little bit more brightness, which I am all about. So I put it all over my face. And then, like, literally all over my face. <laughs> and then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. Um, just a little tip. I know this is very disgusting, but whatever. If you're doing your makeup at night, make sure you soak your beauty blender. So in the morning, if you have to do your makeup, even though it's dirty, it's still a little bit damp. And you don't have to go and rinse it and all that stuff and, wa and waste time. So I know that's like a morning thing, but just letting y'all know. So now after I finish blending, I'm just going to bake. Um, I am using a different beauty blender that's not damp, it's just a dry beauty blender. And I'm just going to apply it. I'm using this, I think it's a NYX or an NYC powder. And I like it because it is a little bit brighter. And so, yeah, I mean, you just have to be careful because you can look ghostly real quick, which I think I did, but oh well. So now while that's happening, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have so much translucent powder under my eyes. So I can actually do my eyeshadow and if there's any fallout, it'll just swipe right out. I forget what that technique is called. I haven't heard it in a long time, but hey, 
it works. So yeah, I'm just doing all this. I usually, before I wouldn't do my bottom lash, but now I just love doing it. So, oh well. And then I'm just going to get like a little brush and then just, I guess, put the mirror in front of my face so you guys won't see anything. And then right there I poke my eye, so, oh well, the show must go on. <laughs> And so yeah, I'm just blending all of that out, taking off the excess, and then I'm using Give Me Some by MAC, which is my favorite, as you can tell by that little shaky shaky. And so I'm going to bronze. That's it. I use this to bronze. Kind of think of it as a transition color. If you're ever going to contour, think of like a transition, you know, color. So this is me. This is me. What the? This is my transition. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using the light, well, the regular one, but I'm using the middle one from the bottom I didn't show I don't know what I'm saying but yeah you know what I mean so I'm contouring it looks very hardcore but I will blend it a little bit but then again I kind of like it so oh well so yeah I'm gonna do that just make sure to blend 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 because we want everything to look seamless even though in the beginning it kind of didn't but I promise it was well blended so now I'm just gonna get my highlighter champagne pop because I finally got it oh my goodness I couldn't find it when back at my hometown and now I finally found it so I bought it and yay so I'm just applying it everywhere and everywhere and more everywhere <laughs> and then for blush I think I just got a like a baby pink blush and yeah it just it looks my contour looks very brown but I promise it doesn't look like that it's just so frustrating that it looks like this on camera but yeah then I go back I blend a little bit more and then I just do my lips I was actually starting with a red a red a wine lip color but then I noticed I mean it looks pretty it looked pretty but it really wasn't so I just went with the nude I had forgotten to put mascara on my bottom lash and so that's what I'm doing and that is pretty much it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit cray cray but you know what? It kind of works so if it kind of works why not? So anyway I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.